Hey folks, welcome back to the next Let's Play of Yakuza Like a Dragon. Unfortunately, I've been off by one LP, I think. I had a, I had a, not edited them and I'm off by one. So so I think this is number 103. We are to Jello Alert Level Zero. You can bet. We are Tally Alert Level Zero. She's munching on her dry food, I think. But she's leaving me alone. So before we go any farther, I want to go... We need to see if we can get a weapon, I think. Where are we going? What are we doing? I am like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's go down. Oh, it's here, right? Okay, wait, no. Oh, right there, right there. But life is going really great. I think we got a lot of money, actually. Welcome. Uh, let's see, I don't think this is going to do anybody here any good. I wish I had, okay, so I believe I'm right, Witcher had a thing where it would show you bonuses. Full face helmet. We don't, we're not playing a fairy right now, so I'm not going to worry about her too much. No, we won't worry about her too much. How much money do I have? I have 600,000? Almost enough to upgrade my workshop, actually. Or go and do a whole bunch of school tests. I might do that. I won't do that today. I think today we will go and um, continue the mission. But I think I would like to um, upgrade all my other stuff. So I think, because I don't see any part-time hero jobs here. Nor do I see any sub-stories. Well, I see this sub-story. But, um, but if I remember right... Oh, Cafe, isn't that the one where I have to... um? Like, give him two million. Oh, we should look at tasks. We can do that. We can look at tasks. So, we do probably have to meet Chairman. Preparing to suck, investing, no. Racing, no. Like, oh, oh. Why don't we do that while we're here? So, why don't we, why don't we do that? Why don't we go to right here? See if we can wrap this one up. I'm going to catch a cab real quick. We'll catch a cab real quick up there. And then we will go start continuing the mission. I mean, I know it's kind of a delay, but let's do it. Th okay, let's do it that way and I'll have to fight them. I'll be right back. Yeah, that wasn't hard at all. Let's get in the cab and let's go down up there to just maybe we'll wrap up Yuda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there we go. And I think we'll go there. Oops, sorry, I leaned down to pick up the cat. She climbed on my lap after knocking my mic off and I had to readjust the mic. And then she climbed right back off me because she is such a jerk. She is such a jerk. Alright, let's go into the restaurant. Talk to Yuda. Wait, isn't this... Oh, wait, wrong side. I'm having a day. Yuda, delicious Chinese food right here. Nobody's biting today. Man, nobody's biting today. Kasugi, Yuda's dad wanted me to ask about a son's relationship. There's no customers around, so now's probably a good time. Sup? Kasuga, hey, you Yuda? Hi. Yuda, yes. Um, and you are? Kasuga, I'm Kasuga. Your dad told your dad told me a bit about you. Hmm? Yuda, huh? He did. Yuda, so what's this about? I'm sorry. He roped you into this, didn't he? So your dad's just worried, you know. Personally, I think you got to live how you want to live. That's how I would be. Why are we not? I appreciate you to appreciate the support. My dad can be a bit too overprotective sometimes. Kasuga just means he cares about you. Anyway, I guess you're pretty serious about this girl, huh? Hi. You, of course, I'm serious about her. I'd like her to think we're dating with marriage and the cards. <laughs> Kasuga, heh. Yeah, I get you. So, uh, what kind of girl is she? You to. Meo-san has been a regular of ours for a while now. She used to come here a lot with her previous husband. Kasuga, she's divorced, right? Yuda, yes. Her husband is so busy with work, they never had time for each other. I guess you could say they grew apart. Their feelings just sort of drifted away. Kasuga, sure. Yuda, Meo-san has the most amazing smile. She's been so kind to me since we first met way back when. She was almost like a mom to me, if I'm being honest. Always so encouraging. Oh, no. 
Let's see, go. Yo, whoa, Yuda's mom passed away when he was little, and now he's. Bro. Yuda, the divorce was really rough, I guess. So I tried to be a shoulder she could lean on through it all. I just wanted to be there for the woman who was there for me. I felt like I could make her happy. Oh. Okay, so okay. I get it. So you fell for her after you started looking out for her. She's beautiful. I'll give you that. <laughs> Yuda, I think so too. <laughs> okay, so okay. okay, well, sounds like you've got your head on straight. Mostly. But shouldn't you be able to talk to your dad about it? Mm. Yuda, I wish I could, but I'm afraid that he'll just use Mouse on his reason for me not being a good enough chef or something like that. Kasuga, so that's been hard to talk to him lately. You do? Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Kasuga, his heart's in the right place, but I still feel bad for him. Maybe I can give him some classic Kasu Kasuga counseling. Love conquers all. Polish up your skills. Train to become strong. You know, I'm going to say love conquers all because that's what I believe. If you ask me, this is going to require the power of love to fix. My style just went up. You do? The power of love? Okay. Yeah, if you can show your old man that you two truly love each other, then maybe he'll change his mind. Yuda, show him how. Kasuga, well, you could always try going in for a super passionate kiss in front of the guy. No, no, Kasuga. <laughs> Yuda, not a chance. I can never do that with my dad watching. Kasuga, fine, fine. Kasuga, you'll have to do it eventually, Merry Man, but let's see what else we've got. Polish up your skills. Train to become stronger. Kasuga, okay, so what if you start working out? Show him you can take care of yourself. Oh, I thought you meant train as in dish. Never mind. You mean like weight training? Yeah. Kasuga, okay, so yeah. Get all ripped and shit. And show him how strong you've become. Yuda, but what does that have to do with cooking? Kasuga, mm -hmm. okay, so huh? Yuda, I mean ripped or not, I'm pretty sure my dad's thing is I can't cook. Kasuga, okay, so I guess I could have thought that through more, but he's right. What else could I tell him? Polish up your skills. For some reason, I was thinking train. I was thinking cooking. That was, I don't know why. Yeah. So yeah, okay. So maybe you should brush up your cooking skills and prove you've got what it takes. Yuda, I think so too. I'm practicing every day though. So go, well, if that's not getting results, then maybe you should do some kind of special training. That could help you. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Yuda, special training? I know. Arigatou Yuda, thanks for the advice, Kasuga-san. Kasuga, oh, you think of something? Hi. Yuda, I did. I'm going to train at another restaurant and get my dad to finally accept me as a fully fledged chef. Kasuga, another restaurant? Yuda, I feel like I rely on my dad too much at our place. If I train at another restaurant, it'll force me to fend for myself and learn on my own. Wow. Kasuga, ah, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So where are you going to go? Yuda, there's a restaurant called Hien Tower in Chinatown. That place is no joke when it comes to Chinese food. I'll beg them for a job if I have to. Kasuga, oh yeah? Well, with that fire under your ass, I'd be surprised if they turned you away. Yuda, yeah, oh, and uh, there might be trouble if my dad gets wind of this, so do you think you can keep it on the down low? I want to surprise my dad by showing him how much I've grown. <laughs> Kasuga, ha, sure, I got you. Yuda, thank you. Wow, won't he be surprised when he finds out? Oh, there's going to be drama. Yuda, he raised me as a single dad, so I can only hope this will be enough to say thanks for all he's done. Yuda, I should be getting back to the restaurant. I'll see you later. Kasuga, yeah. Yuda's a good guy. He takes love and work pretty seriously. I'll tell his dad the good news next time I see him. <clears throat> I don't think there's I don't think there's anything for me to report back to him, because it's gonna make me come back. Because of that, we'll go back down here. So we're gonna catch cab, get all the way to the bottom, and continue with the mission. Um, where is the closest cab? And now the cat wants to be on my chest again. She is just not, like, take, she's not handling life good today. Or maybe she is handling it well, because maybe that is what she does. She's a cat, I mean. And she's become more catty of a cat, too. Not, not bad catty, but, like, catty as in feline-like. Come on, get in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're going to go down to the bottom. And I think I still want to go to. I'll see you folks there. Oh, I'm trying to get past everybody, and of course they see me, so we'll take care of this really quick. And we'll see if we can get that mission started. For some reason, I can never squeeze past when I, I'm late and I'm trying to get this done quickly. Okay, something has dawned on me that I didn't think about is um, I should probably 
invest in the romance workshop first because unfortunately I could lose at some point in time and I'll lose 300,000 yen if I do that. So let's, we're going to throw all our money at that. Oh, hey, we'll get hired by my group. We'll get hired. Come on. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, we'll hand over brand name goods. Oh, I thought, I swear to God I bought some. Because I saw that he, oh, wait, wrong way. Oh, we have to see it. We have a pigeon storm now. What the hell is a pigeon storm? Is it multiples? Does it go after multiple people? I should try that next time when he's in the middle of a group. Because I, I, that's look, that looks like that's what it was. I said radical drop. I thought it said racial drop for a second. Okay, we beat him down. We beat him down. So now let's let's go here to the romance workshop, and I'm just gonna toss like six hundred thousand on it, because otherwise we'll never upgrade it. And I think she probably makes better weapons than I will get from anything else. Hey, why don't well let's chat with her first. So I think my passion went up. Kasuga, Samurai, can we talk for a sec? Yeah. Sumar. Oh yeah, of course. So you're still into the bonsai thing, right? Yep. Smart, of course. I could fill a room with them. Maybe I should give her more bonsai. Imagine how it should be if I gave her five at once. I wanted to give her five bonsai this time, but I don't have enough. Either I get the barkeep to make it, or I'll shop it that sells it. Smart, come back and see me sometime soon, okay? How come I feel like I'm being extorted here? Alright, I need to craft and prove gear, but I need to fund support. So. Um. Now we'll just do. Oh. Why don't we not get rid of. Oh my god. Like, my fingers do not work for whatever reason. The controller is killing me. Hey, I didn't mean to do that much, but we'll take it. We're getting close, though. We're what, 700, so about 280,000. We will, I'll grind for that. I will go grind for that. But I figure this will keep me from screwing up so badly that I can't, that'll lose half of it. I just don't want to lose half. All right, so we are now going to select back down to here. And the problem is, is I pretty much ran over. So we're going to get there and then we'll stop. We'll stop when we get outside of the, oh, no, I don't have your fragrance. I forgot. Shut up. I guess I'd ask, why am I giving you the fragrance to begin with? Seriously. Okay, so we are only doing the... the um, I guess we only did the Aaron thing for Yuda. We are going to stop here because it's too close. This is going to be a super short Let's Play. I'll see you folks next time. Until then, take care.